Hey, it's Geo Boxing Empire. Back some more boxing. Now, the latest news on Twitter is Errol Spencer Jr. has been training with Jamel Charlo. <laughs> so this is crazy, man. We all know uh, Jamel Charlo got uh, a fight with Hatley, and we all know about Errol Spence and Carol Brook. And this is this is bad for both Carol Brook and Hatley, man. You know, Hatley's a great fighter. I think he hits really hard. But I think Errol Spence is the overall more complete fighter. So Jamel Charlo sparring with Errol Spence, man, it's sort of like, you know, you can you can argue about Errol Spence being better than Hatley, you know, or, or at least on this level. But, but you know, like I said, I think Errol Spence is more complete. So, shit, you know, Errol Spence could be harder working than Hatley, you know. So Jamel's definitely got good sparring in for his bout. And, you know, Jamel is definitely, I mean, he's tall and he's a 154 WBC champion, you know, and he hits hard, you know, so he's definitely good as a imitation of Carol Brook because he's such a good boxer. So this is, this is going to be good, man. It's, it's crazy because I, I, usually I don't like, um, my opinion, I think fighters shouldn't be sparring so much because it can, you know, you can get, you get in spar, spar wars. But I'll put the link in it. But it was on Twitter that uh, Errol Spence talked about sparring with Jamel Charlo. And they said, Errol Spence said something about he's going to show the world what Jamel's been teaching him April 22nd in the Carol Brook fight. So apparently they've been making each other better. They've been teaching each other. You know, they're not going in there and sparring trying to hurt each other. They've been teaching each other. So that's really dangerous, man. They're, they're in there to learn. They're not in there to fight. So their sparring has been really productive it's not just going there and let's just try to hurt each other they're actually teaching each other so you know i've seen a lot of spar wars when people were trying to hurt each other but but it's not like that there so i mean this is it's good for them but it's bad for carol brook and hatley so we'll see what happens man i seen that picture on uh carol brook's uh twitter and he's sparring with some regular people um uh, some journeymen probably i don't know maybe they're big in the uk i just don't know who they are but you know Carol Brook's eye is still messed up probably or still healing so he doesn't want to go too hard so that's understandable but man this i mean this made the fight much more interesting you know it's it's always good to watch the preparation for the fights to see how they're coming along because it means everything you know um you always hear but like the david hay fight you know it's always anything can happen so if you follow their training camp and they get injured, you're going to know ahead of time. So it's always a big deal to keep up, not just show up the fight, the day of the fight. You got to pay attention to everything. So it's looking like it's a good look for Jamel Charlo and Errol Spence Jr. And we'll, we'll see where it leads from here, man. We'll see if uh, Carol Brook does anything different in his training camp. Because I know when he trained with Leo Smith for the Triple G fight, that really helped him out in a Triple G pressure. And, and taking hits. I mean, Carol Brook was taking hits and he was...